presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, but at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 530, Nasdaq's off 241, S&P's off 82, gold. Gold contract up 7 bucks, trade in 1838. We got silver down 47 cents, $23.85 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 227, 82.98. Notes and bonds. The 10-year notes up 5 ticks, trade in 128.15. 30-year bond down 4 at 155.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 286 ticks, trade in 95, 928. Euro is at 131, yen is at 113, the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. You get over, it doesn't matter what market you looked at, folks. The bottom line, what we had out here today is this. The S&P had already done a, a 1 to 1.618 on the way down, ended up doing a 1 to 2 ABC structure down, waited for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ did a 1 to 1.618. Bottom line, you get the bounce. We'll see where this baby ends up going. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazur, as we do each and every every other Monday at the first segment. Dave is the head of product and a managing director at the Direction.com, uh, Direction Shares, and this couldn't be a better time <laughs> to look at having a two-way market, folks. It's hard to even comprehend that. Actually, the small caps are up. The IWM rejected 191. It's trading 198. Dave Mazur, welcome back. Hey, happy to be back. Yeah, what a day to be back. It's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> so, you know, you, when, you, when you look at direction, the bottom line, you guys have been in the cutting edge for a long period of time. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had markets that go down. Uh, it's pretty interesting here, you know, no doubt that we've had the volatility. Um, so let's talk about, you know, I think we should talk about some of the bear funds. I mean, I'm looking for a bounce now, but the reality is that, you know, when you get a good downdraft like this, it, it can it can be... It doesn't get over in a day. Let's put it that way. And you know when yeah, I look no, at this, I think tops and bottoms are processes, right? Not points in time, which I, which I know you and your your uh, viewers know know well. What what I want to note is to your point on the bear funds. This is a fund we don't talk about very much. Uh, it's the ticker is SPDN. This is an inverse one times. So it's not a, a double or which triple is great. Number five. Yes, uh, it saw the largest ever inflows and its highest ever trading volume in its history on Friday. Today again, it has had off the charts volume compared to its history. So obviously, that means people are coming in looking for hedges. Yes. What I find um, uh, notable there is that uh, they, it's not necessarily people looking at SPXS which is the triple bear fund, certainly had a lot of volume, that's a much larger fund, but people looking for that hedge just on the, the, the one-time side. Um, that's, that was notable. But on the flip side, and now I'm gonna switch gears and talk about a bull fund for a second, Sox L, which we talk about all the time, last week, last week saw its highest ever weekly inflows. That, to me, was a bit shocking. So I think we're, we're, we're uh, the bulls are not going to go down with a real fight here, especially when thinking about this rotation, you know, away from the tech into the value space. Um, but certainly today, you know, red on the screen nearly everywhere, except small caps, to your point, are trying to make a bit of a rally here. 
This is pretty cool, Dave. I, I love having you on, but that information there in general, I mean, you know, being a contrarian, do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's big, it's, good, it's great information, man. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. And you, well, you, you, know, you know, it's really interesting too, is that a, a lot of the tigers out here, I'm, I'm, get, I'm telling you, man, you gotta you got love Marcus. I'm getting, I'm getting texts in here that how much we had traders evidently come into the uh, LABU. The uh, the biotech bull, <laughs> which which has been down on a big basis, but evidently they're very happy right now because they just caught caught it as it get down to fifteen bucks. I mean, it's down from sixty six. But the bottom line is that you know this is this is when if they understand what your funds are all about, it's really cool, man. That you know we know that when you have very large moves like this, folks. Okay, and you you know. You have to have been in a couple cycles too. That's the that's the reality. Do you know what I mean? The, the, these guys that so don't if you're new to this market, don't go into the LABU. I'm not saying that. Just as uh, we had a trading room, folks, and they're they're pretty sophisticated. That's the bottom line. But isn't that cool, Dave? <laughs> I saw yeah, I started no, coming did. across, and so I was like, okay. And they actually know fundamentally a lot of those stocks too. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, you know, they want to have, you can only go so low. That's the reality. Yeah, and biotech's been a space that just it was just really hammered last year. Um, other than maybe you know a few a few of the, the Modernas of the world and BioNTech, what have you, but um, really a space that's been on favor. Uh, we certainly saw Lab D, which is the bear fund, um, you know, be used. And yeah. now people are looking to maybe play that bounce back. The other couple other funds I'll note that that had seen some uptick in volume are the pair web l and web s okay this is the internet composite uh it's it's a kind of it's dow jones internet composite index excuse me it's a bit of an old school index right the, it was created in the late 90s for quote unquote the internet but a lot of the names in here are many of your fang names plus your sales forces some of the cloud names just a space that's gotten beaten up really hard some of the first to perform uh, poorly in this but both the bull and the bear there um, have seen an uptick in activity, and we're seeing inflows actually onto the bear side of that fund today. So to your point uh, at the beginning of this chat, it's really a two-way market here. And I think uh, traders in particular should be able to keep that head on a swivel here because there's going to be opportunities. To me, you know, this isn't, an this isn't an idea where let's just go to cash and see what happens. We have the products. And again, for people with the know-how and the ability to monitor their portfolios on a daily basis, to take advantage of these opportunities, uh, you know, in areas that, that either have been out of favor or simply to take the inverse side of what had been working. And, you know, as, as Dave's speaking, folks, OK, you know, particularly the, the Internet Fund we were just talking about, you know, you always got to remember that you are waiting for a pullback. I know it's very hard to step in front of anything, but just just do your homework. Go through, go, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the direction banner. We haven't had a real pullback since 2006. Dave, his team has a lot more ETFs now that, number one, you could stay in a position, you could hedge it just as the first S&P and no tax implications. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. So please come over here, do some studying. It's well worth it. Dave, this is awesome, man. Hey, one more question. You know, on the front page, you still put on the front page the the biggest ins and biggest outs, right? We do, yeah. So take, take a look at that. Which is huge. No, insights. totally. Thanks so much, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Talk soon. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 409. You get the NASDAQ uh, 1, 8, down 139. S&Ps are up 56. Uh, it's hard to believe. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, it's wild that the, the small caps went positive first, folks, okay? It, we're going to get a heck of a bounce here. Uh, you know, it, we should. I mean, you know, the IWM is down from 244, hit a low today at 191. Now, let's go over. I'm going to go over the S&P and the NASDAQ the time in the trade basically exercise, okay? So this is what should shake out now. So if we take a look at the SPY first, what you have is this. The SPY did just over a one to two ABC structure on the way down. Hit 420, okay? When you've heard me already, if you believe in Fibonacci expansion contraction theory, the way that it works, anything over a 1 to 1.618 ABC structure down or up is an immediate change of trend. And I've been doing this long enough that, and I've stepped in plenty of times that you think the end of the world is going to be here, and guess what? Somehow it just happens. Now, it happened today. It doesn't necessarily happen, have to happen within that day, but I can tell you that most times, no, no, every time, I've done it at least five or six times, it's done it within 24 hours. That, that's the reality, okay? So, now what you did is this. Okay, so now we came down hard. What I expect you're going to see now is that you're going to get a bounce. Now, the way this works is that the S&P, first off, well, let's do it this way. You can just take the lows. We're at 430, and you'll probably get a bounce to 450. That's one way of looking at it. The, the, another way, you can go like this. You can turn around and you can say, okay, give me... Tell me what the last leg is. And this is where, what happens in fast markets, folks, is that Fibonacci sequence, for some reason, works like just unbelievable. I mean, it's a, when there are fast markets, it works just in an unbelievable way. So when I say that, you know, I'm looking at 450, well, check this out. A 50% retracement gets you 447. Now, I expect what we're going to see is this, is that as we go to that 457, you are going to see another contraction of volume all the way up. If that's what we get, you got to protect yourself. you got a whole, whole ball of wax because the larger picture here, we're not done. This is just the beginning. You don't get volatility like this, and it doesn't just go away. You're talking about a two- or three-month deal here. So first leg, 
I'm figuring you got 450, you get 460. You get 30 S&P points on the way up, right? We go, go look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. You take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs did, okay, so it's pretty clear. It, what was interesting this morning is that as the S&P had done the one to two, what had happened is that the NQs hadn't finished a one to 1 1.618. So for all you bulls out here, it's great that it did. That's the bottom line. I know it sounds insane, okay, but it's great that it did, okay? And the reason being is if you want a real bounce, that's how it works. So what happened here, the, the NQs, that ABC down was 13,750. We went to 706. Spike down, and that's what you need. And what you also need, yeah, watch this. This is really cool. So if you're watching Tiger TV and you're watching the futures, do you see how the last real selling... You know, down at the very bottom, see how, see how those bars are so small? They kept selling down, but the, excel, the amount of selling wasn't a monster. We, the monsters were when we were at 14,032. So, so that thing actually went down almost, uh, yeah, almost another 290 points, not with a huge amount of volume. That's what you like to see. And bottom line is that the NASDAQ itself, you're going to see the NASDAQ, they're, they're, we're going to have a flat market coming into the close and blow everyone's mind. That's how these things work, though, man. That, that's, that's, that, <laughs> that's the bottom line. So, uh, oh, I know. Okay, so the Qs as to where they're going to bounce. We take a look at the Qs. Qs came down to 334. You can, I expect the Qs to get all the way up to 378 somehow. That's, that's ice. You know, I've had a lot of questions before. What's ice? That's, that's a breakdown. And then if we take the, what's going to get interesting about this is that if you actually take the, the sequence, that is saying that the Qs are going to bounce like a 78% of the last leg down, which is amazing, right? Well, it'd be amazing if it happens. But that's, as you bounce and you go up with lighter volume, that's what you're looking at. Now, let's go over and take a look at notes and bonds. We have the Fed meeting, Right. And if you don't think that this spooked the Fed, <laughs> let me tell you something. The Fed, the Fed put hasn't, you know, is still here. And it's almost like, okay, how did this work that, you know, we, the, the Fed's ready to raise rates, raise rates, raise rates, and guess what? Bottom line, all of a sudden, uh, in January, the, the, the statistical number, folks, the market's never been down this quick in a January period, as, as far as you're going back, okay? So the Fed's gonna know that too. What does that set up? That sets up, you know, we look at this 10 year right now, the bottom line is that even when the market was down, 10 year couldn't hold price, it's like, okay, it looks to me like the, we're at 1.74, that the rate hikes in general, I never went for the aspect, you know, there are people out there saying it's gonna be eight hikes in a row, it's like, what are you, crazy, man? Okay, it's not going to it's not going to be six hikes and it's not going to be eight hikes. Okay, somewhere can they do a, you know a quarter each for four times in a row? Yeah, they can. They can even push to five. Um, this market's too fragile. They kept it up for twelve years. Um, they they're going to have to slow it down. That that's the reality. And then they're going to have to basically figure um, how to relate to the public. But this is, watch how this goes. Think about this for a second. Relating to the public, relating to you and I, about a flip again, do you think people are gonna turn around and say, oh, no, 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 you, you gotta raise the rates, you gotta raise the rates. It won't happen, folks. <laughs> it's not even close. The good news is that they're gonna have to go slower and they're gonna have to stretch it out longer. Because what ends up happening is that People will get used to lower markets. You get a bounce going, they can take some off their portfolio. Um, the, the, the larger problem is going to be folks, unfortunately, that haven't seen a pullback. That, 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 that no doubt is a problem, okay? Because when we get this bounce, you know, I, I expect it to be gonna be a good one, but then that next leg, you know, that le next leg could get nasty. So let's take a look.
and we'll put this on a little longer term, just because you can set these up kind of prior to where they go, particularly on something like this. Okay, so the SPY went back to May of 2021 today. We have volume. It saved itself. Yeah, we, we get it to see uh, what kind of a counter trend bounce we get. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. Yes, and so, and, and listen, folks, fl inflation's not going away. We are going to have inflation here, whether it's two or three years. You know, this whole thing, I can't even, what I don't even get, understand, how can these people get on that have good education and think that it's going to change like in six months? They have evidently never had a business, okay? When prices go up, folks, okay, prices go up. You, 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 prices, everyone's just going to say, okay, I'm going to pull my prices back 20%. It's not even close, man. We're, we're in inflation. Stay right there. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 413. And Nasdaq's off 150. S&P's are down 61. Let's go to our man John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Tom, uh, what a great couple of weeks to start the year. Got to love this volatility. Down and up, down and up. There's no doubt, man. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Yeah, Tom, I, I wanted to uh, just uh, call and ask you a real simple question on the oil contract. Um, full disclosure, uh, this morning, uh, excuse me, this midday, just after the noon hour as the uh, stock index futures were bottoming, I, uh, I bought, or I rebought, I bought back the March crude oil contract I had observed at that moment in time, just under 82, the low of the day, 
it looked like it was potentially completing an exact A, B equals C, D dip just over the past couple of days. Yeah. And uh, as you look at things, are th- is there anything that you're seeing that tells you oil is very unlikely to run back to the highs and make higher highs over 87? I'm just trying to protect myself by asking you that question. No, my take is going to 107, oil. And so check this out. This is really cool, folks, what, what John's talking about here. So you have two different things. If we talk any type of resources, gold, oil, metals in general, right? And you can see what John was talking about. You can see our market bottomed at 1210, oil bottomed at 12. <laughs> okay, this is what normally happens with, so let's pitch this. As the broad market turns, you're gonna see oil go higher again, metals go higher again, agriculture go higher again, because what happens is this, is that in inflation, as markets get hit, they will go down less, and then as soon as they turn again, they're gonna go up a lot higher. So, you know, that's where my head's at with all of these resources, agriculturals, you know, and I'm not there in the market, folks. On the market, I'm, my, my take on the market is gonna be a stair step down, but yet the resources are gonna be a stair step up, and it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, you know, when I say it's pretty cool, sometimes it's just like anything else. You know, if they're going to be the stronger sectors in the marketplace for, I suspect, next couple of months. That's how I'm looking at this, John. And Okay, very good, Tom. I appreciate your input. Thanks so much. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And, I, folks, I know that sometimes that's hard to kind of understand, but it's really not because if, if you're watching markets today, Okay, I was on with TD Ameritrade this morning. So picture this. I got to pick out three long stocks this morning on TD Ameritrade in a mile and a half hour. Bottom line, I did it. Okay? But trying to explain that was a trip in itself. But guess what? There were about 15 to 17 stocks that looked like, you know, they all opened lower, but they looked like they were going to go higher. And, you know, I, I, I'll give them to you because they did. Uh, I picked out Devron. And, and you can, I don't want you to listen to them. I want you to listen to me, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we did, we did Devon Energy. And this is a, this, so what this was, so picture, it opened at 44.45, went down to 42.87, but what it was doing, it was going right into strength. I love that, right? You know, it was still only down from two bucks, you know, so the bottom line looks to me like that wants to go to the highs. Caterpillar also opened down. And in Caterpillar's place, same type of setup. Caterpillar was a classic, right back to the breakout area. I didn't think it was going to have the 5 million shares. It ended up, it's not going to have the 5 million shares. We went to 206. It opened to 211. I was on at 11 o'clock. I was trading 206 at that particular point. Bottom line, that rejected lower price. Caterpillar, when you take a look at Caterpillar on the weekly, watch this. This is strong, man. This, three weeks ago, you went higher with volume, taking out the consolidation. Last week you went higher, now you're gonna reject lower price at light of volume, this is going back to its highs. And then the last one I did was Newmont Mining. And in Newmont's case, bottom line, what you have is same type of setup. Comes back to the breakout area, you're gonna have light of volume, the breakout area had uh, 15 million shares, you're at 6.5, hit 61, you're at 62, this one's higher price too. So when you, when you can find any type of Strong stocks, when you are down, you know, 100 and something S&P points, pay attention to it because those are the ones that are really going to crank. There's no doubt. We can see the uh, S&P, it's hard to comprehend. I know it's only down 23. And guess what? There's 25 minutes left. This is going to be a monster, okay? Because what ends up happening, unfortunately, is that there's plenty of folks that are new and the bottom line is that they'll keep selling thinking that it's the end of the world. And guess what, folks? The world doesn't end. And you gotta get that out of your head, man. That, that's how it goes. If you stick with expansion contraction theory, and I'd urge everyone to really look at that, um, fast markets like this, it is much more consistent than almost anything you can find in the marketplace. That's, that's my reality. And once you study it for a while, it may be your reality, but I can tell you, um, you know, on days like this,
you really want to pay attention to because I can show you. I, so watch this. Hey, let me show you this. This was, I was looking, I know it was the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ really gave a clue, like if it was my son Tommy, he'd be played so much professional poker, he would say it's a, what is it called? A tell, it's a tell. And so this would happen. Inside of the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ actually gave the tell. Because first off, what it did is this. It got to the 1 to 1.618. Then what it did is at the first leg up in the NASDAQ, here, watch this. This is, this, is where, this is when I really said, okay, man, I think I'm gonna be right on this call. Is that what the NASDAQ did is that the first leg up, there's the first leg. The first leg up almost went to a 50% retracement of the leg down. The second leg up, you can see it right there, went right to the .618. When you can do a first leg at 50%, a second one at 618, man, you're going. You're going, you're going top side. Because that's just, listen, none of us know how these numbers work. What we do know is that you need some type of a system that you can rely on. That's, you know, other than that, if you rely on the television folks, <laughs> uh, especially in markets that want to go south, it, it doesn't work. Because I can tell you, the, la the so that, I'm, I'm on TD Ameritrade every week. So last week I had to pick, you know, I always got to pick something up. And it's really cool. I mean, I, I like what, how this works out. But you got to remember something. So I'm telling them last week, hey, man, I'm giving the longs where this market wants to go down. This, I, was, I was saying that the Qs want to go to the 350, like I've been saying here. The bottom line, what do the three go, Qs go to 335? 325? 334. 334. And now we're at 350 again. You know? but, when, but when you get, and patents repeat. Exactly. Over and over and over again. And I don't know why, I don't, and no one else knows why either. Uh, but when you're trading, if you can get confident in them, you, what happens is this. You, first, you have to understand the theory behind it. Then you see it enough, then you put your money on it. That's, and just put small money at the beginning. I don't care, it's $100, one contract, more, 10 shares, just so you can see, and then you will really get to understand, you'll have a lot more confidence in yourself. Because you gotta remember something, it's your money. So you're the one that has to get confident in the system you're using in order to basically either not lose money or make money. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 158. You get the NASDAQ, uh, well, down 18, unbelievable. And the S&P's off 21. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 195. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 39. S&P's off 28. Let's go to uh, Bob in South Carolina. Hey, Bob, what's going on? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doesn't get any better than this. That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Uh, hey, Matt, I was wondering, what would an entry point be on that? If you're going to buy a Matt, let me put this here. One second. So you got a rejection of lower price on just about everything out here today. I mean, you're buying this for a trade? Uh, I'll I'm buying it for at least six months anyway. Okay, then you got to wait. Because what, what you have, so watch this, okay? So AMAT, what AMAT did here, you know, come down off the high of 167, hit 129 today. AMAT more than likely is going to bounce somewhere into like uh, 146, right? That being said, um, this market, my take on it, is, is not done going down. And I think AMAT, you know, be a nice buy at like 114 as long as it comes with lighter volume. See, 114 on AMAT is a high volume low that has not been hit. And that would be a, on a longer term basis, meaning, you know, five or six months, that would be a much better situation. My take here is that all this is, this is a dead cat bounce. We're going to get a good one, okay? But then this next leg is going to be coming down. And, you know, AMAT, that kind of, that 114 sticking out like a sore thumb, man. And it hasn't been tested. Okay. Yeah. Uh, could you ask more, for one more? It's Tom. Uh, NVIDIA, what do you think that's going on? NVDA. Let's take a look at it. Because that, and these are the stocks you do want to be in, folks. I mean, you know, what's amazing, okay, chips chips bring the NDX up, they bring them down, and chips are always in a growth area. you got to remember something. We're on 2022. Uh, <laughs> bottom line is that chips are going to be running the world, and they are running the world. NVIDIA, I do the same thing. I mean, I wouldn't bite right now. You know, you, you get a nice bounce going, there's no doubt. Now, the difference in NVIDIA and AMAT, AMAT... Bob looks really well at its highs, meaning it has a nice, you know, volume at the highs. NVIDIA doesn't, you know. So, like with NVIDIA, I mean, I can picture the next leg down, really bringing NVIDIA like to 159. What's stopping it right now was the was the bar of the breakout area from June of 2021, which is 201. It hit 208. You know, so. Okay. I'd be careful, but I, yeah, I think you're in the right sector. I can tell you, you know, and this is what the difference is. So picture what the difference is. And so when you're looking at something like that, folks, it gets really interesting because it's like, okay, hold on, the same sector. Why do I think that one has much lower to go where the other one doesn't? And that means NVIDIA has much lower to go over as AMAT. Fundamentally, what happens with these stocks is this. AMAT gets their orders up front. So they're back end loaded in a monster way, meaning... That, Bob, if you and I open our chip plant, right, what would end up happening, yeah, need- AMAT puts all the, well, you know, AMAT puts all the equipment. We would have to come up with the billions of dollars prior to it, and we know we're not going to have a chip plant for three years. You know what I mean? Where NVIDIA, that's just a machine, you know. So they are, they are two different deals. But bottom line is that 
I just wait for the next leg down, and I suspect if I'm right in this context of how this will play out, you, t you get about five or six weeks before you really get a real good buy in general. Well, well, thank you very much, Tom. I appreciate it. Okay, man. You have a great one and a safe one. You as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. So on the next leg down, folks, okay, what you'd be looking for is this. If the next leg down, let's, so let's, let's picture I'm wrong in the context that this will, will bounce and then we'll actually get to a lower low. What would end up happening is that you know how this goes, is that, okay, you're going to look at this low inside the SPY. It depends on how it comes into the low. It also depends, folks, on how we actually do the bounce. So what you'd like to see is this. If you're a bull, what you'd like to see is actually, I suspect tomorrow is going to be up like a rocket ship. And... You know, you might pull back a little Wednesday, the Fed day, big deal. They, they got their hands tied. The market has t tied their hands like in a big way and put a noose around their neck, actually, simultaneously in one day. Think about that. Even though we come back, they know that, oh, my God, okay, we can't have markets going up and down by 150 to 160 S&P points per day. You know, that's not their mandate, but guess what? Bottom line, they can't have it happen. So what normally would happen, you get the bounce going. You pull back. As you pull back, what you don't want to see is you don't want to see the market stall before the lows. Because if you start going sideways, you're building cause for another leg down. That's how this goes. Um, you know, it's, so let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And we are going to have volume today. It's going to be a high volume low, folks. You got uh, Apple's down two bucks. You got NVIDIA's down two these are nothing. Look at Microsoft. Look at this, man. This and Microsoft. You talk about a bounce, man. This is something else. <laughs> Microsoft traded down to 276, and it's up 20 points. It's 296. That being said, now watch this. You put this up. So you broke the swing. 280. The weekly is going to have the volume. We'll see. In Microsoft's case, it really depends on how, and on, on all these equities, it depends on how um, this bounce comes in. That, that's, that's a reality. It's both sides of the market that you always want to look at. There's, there's no doubt about that. This market's going to be green, man. <laughs> you know what's so crazy about that, folks? I told them that on TD Ameritrade this morning, too, and I'm sure that they don't know me as well as you guys know me, but yeah, I. I I suspect they thought that was insane, too. Because, listen, I think it's insane when it's happening. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the reality. But I know these numbers well enough that if you don't say it and only keep it to yourself, that doesn't make any sense either. You know? So we'll, we'll see where this whole thing uh, shakes out. The volume on the way up is going to be crucial to understand where we're going in the context. When I was talking with... Um, Z, well, <laughs> this is a funny, so Z is his name in the, in the trading room. John from Philly, folks, okay? The, the cool thing is, if you, are, if you are a bull in the metals, in agricultural, and commodities in general, you are going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to be able to take a chart, and you're going to see that the broad market keeps going to a lower low, breaking swings, as that happens, you know, when the markets go down, they take everything down. So picture the, the resource stocks, they, they'll pull back, but they'll pull back a lot less. Then when the turn comes, what you're going to see is this. You're going to see that the turn comes, and as the turn comes, the acceleration goes up, the broad market will go up, but the resource stocks, inflated stocks, not inflated stocks, the stocks that have a correlation to inflation are going to go up much faster. And then what we haven't had yet, okay, which I expect we will have, is that we will see this gold and silver market take off like a rocket ship. That's, that's, the, that's the real bottom line. Um, they, the argument anymore that Bitcoin is gold is down the drain, okay? Gold is still trading where it was trading. Bitcoin went from, uh, who knows, 69,000 to, I think it hit, what is it, 30,000 today? Let me see what it is. It's 36,000 now. You get volatility in Bitcoin. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, it's not a store of value. So we went down to 32,036. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, it's St. Patrick's Day, early. Uh, bottom line, Dow Industrial is up 53, the Nasdaq's up 50, S&Ps are up 3. You got a green market, folks. Small, small caps are up there. Now, we get a question, a couple of questions, okay, as to uh, do you expect markets to gap open tomorrow uh, or be steady? This is what normally happens in a market like this, okay? So it's easier calling the market when it comes to a low like this and you got the expansion contraction that's so dramatic, folks. When we've had a market that's down this dramatic, okay, it, it bottom line, yeah, could you gap for a second? Yeah, you could, but most times what happens is this. Most times, it's going to mess around here a bit. That's what kind of normally happens, okay, because they don't make it this easy. But maybe it's not this easy. Maybe it's still plenty of people are shot. I'm not sure. But it, my, my take on it is it's normally not that easy. Like, it's not that you're going to, you know, you might gap up 20 S&P points tomorrow. It could be down 20. Is, is that dramatic? What you have to do so I wouldn't be laying some I mean, If you caught getting long here, great, stay long, okay? Because on, 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 and then on the, let's let's talk about a two week basis. That's a lot easier. Two week basis. Guess what? You're going a lot higher, a lot higher. That's that's kind of how this shakes out. Um, I would love to. And I, listen, every day now I will dig into you know a couple of chapters of time in the trade. So because these are the markets. When you get fast markets, man, <laughs> that's when these markets uh, are really cool. And what happens also is that that's when you also know the price projections 
of the markets. Knowing the price projections, now this is speculation, but you want to speculate where you think it's going to go because what ends up happening is that if you've done the homework prior to it, it's either going to go or not go. And so what happens there is that it doesn't go good, you flip the whole thing around. And then the, 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 the price and volume inside markets, folks, is, is pretty consistent. You know, and yes, we've gone up for a long period of time without volume, but there's enough tigers and tigers around, trust me. The next couple of years, time in the trade, price and volume, you better pay attention to it. The froth is gone, man. The, you know, the retail trader throwing all the money in, making a fortune, unfortunately it's gone. You have to know something. Have a great night, have a safe night. Come back and visit uh, Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off nine o'clock. Look at him, folks.